we have been talking about discrete uniform distributions. And remember, discrete uniform distributions describe those probability situations like rolling a six-sided die, where you have separate discrete outcomes. You can only get a one, two, three, four, five, or six, nothing in between, so they're discrete. And then the probability of each one happening is uniform. It's the same chance to get a one as there is to get a six. And that probability is always one over the number of chances that there are. So in a six-sided die, so the probability of getting a one is one over six. And here is six. That's the number of things that can happen. The probability of getting anything else is exactly the same. The probability of a six is one over six. So that's the key to remember for these word problems that we're going to do here. Let's read this first one. It says a nine-sided die has each face marked with a different integer from one through nine. So that does sound like a discrete uniform problem. You've got nine different things, the integers one through nine. So our, our n is nine here. Then it says, assuming that each face is equally likely to occur on a single roll, so that's definitely uniform distribution, find the probability of getting a two. Well, the probability of giving, getting any number is the same. It's one over the total number of chances, so one ninth. And if you don't have one ninth, that probability, uh, or that division problem memorized, you just plug it into your calculator, one divided by nine, and you should get this 0. 0.111. All right, let's look at the next one here. It says, Karen draws a card out of a standard deck of 52 cards. What is the probability that the first card she draws is the ace of hearts? Okay, there's only one ace of hearts in a deck of cards. So this is one card out of that 52. And again, this is a discrete uniform distribution. There are only 52 different things you can pull out, 52 different cards. So our probability of getting any one of them is 1 over 52. And if you plug that into your calculator, 1 divided by 52, you should get 0 0.0192 and B would be our answer. So that's some work on a couple of word problems with discrete uniform distribution.